So I'm back with my 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited with the 5.7 liter Hemi. Uh, from my other videos, you could see I had replaced this unit. Um, this is the OEM one. It started throwing the service four wheel drive again, so I'm gonna put the one in I got. That seemed to work in my other video. Just to share the numbers with everyone. AH is what I'm putting in. And this is the one I'm taking out. So to get this one out, you just press these those tabs and slide this unit out. Yeah, so no tools required. Put in the other unit, slide it in. Plug. Plug. It's in. It's in. There we go. And put the seat back. And the seat is again held in with two 18 millimeter bolts. So that's what I have a swivel socket, socket, swivel socket on, and an extension. So let's go ahead and document this on video. Bring the key in. Starting. Let all the various lights go off. There we go. I just have the parking brake and seatbelt light on. Brake. Neutral. And four low. So, swapping it out worked. And to put it back in out of four low, or take it out of four low. And there we go. Go back and park. Turn it off. And it works. So, w wish they would get this fixed for the N23 uh, recall botch they did. Oh, I don't trust going to the dealer. I got the thing for the ignition switch. You know, forget it. <laughs> it works. I'm not taking it to the dealer. They, they lost my trust. I, I don't care. It's a used vehicle at this point. Pretty old. Um, as you saw, I'll zoom in there. I have 139,943 miles. So... Whatever, if they're not going to take care of their botched recall, then an unflash um, unit will uh, work if you can find them now. I got mine when this started early on for like 60 bucks. So, anyways, I hope this helps somebody. Okay, thanks for watching.